is rather great. And although I hope none of us ever have to face a life-threatening situation such as this one, I think it's important for us to know the precautionary measure, measures to take in such, a, in such a situation in case it does occur, just as you would learn what to do in case of a fire, a tornado, or a lockdown. So imagine this with me. You have arrived. You are successful. You are wealthy. You're wealthy enough to take your family on a luxury vacation somewhere out in the far east. So you're on a beach. You are leisurely flipping through a book, holding the hand of your beloved husband or wife, and your three beautiful children are playing on the beach. You have a, let's say, a four-year-old, a six-year-old, and a seven-year-old. After a while, your very precocious six-year-old comes up to you and says, Daddy, Daddy, I think something's wrong. And you're like, what? What could be wrong? There could be nothing wrong. This is absolutely perfect. But just then, you see a flock of birds take off into the sky. You feel slightly like maybe something could be wrong, but possibly no, nothing could be wrong. But just then, you watch as your little four-year-old teeter-totters to the water's edge to get a little bit of water in a bucket, and then suddenly, <laughs> up come the jaws of a crocodile, just barely, barely missing your four-year-old. And as your three children run to you, you watch in horror as the crocodile pursues. Mm. Our topic today is how to wrestle a crocodile. Now you may be wondering how likely is it is. You may be wondering how likely it is that you would ever need what? to face this situation. You may wonder like how many people per year actually die from crocodile attacks. One journalist from Pravda answered this question with a little perspective. So, talk to me for a second. How many people per year do you think are killed by sharks? Throw out a number. 556. 556 no. lower. What did you say? 15. 15. The answer is 15. Very good. 15 people per year worldwide are killed by sharks. You can no, say pretty good hippopotamuses. Things. How many people per year are killed by hippopotamuses? I know you didn't think of them as serial killers, but okay. any guesses? Six. 372. The answer is 200. 200 wow. people per year worldwide are killed by hippopotamuses. <laughs> elephants. Any guesses on elephants? How many people per year are killed by elephants? Oh, I just said none because I like elephants. Aw. Well, the answer, unfortunately, <laughs> is 250. And that brings us then to crocodiles. Any guesses about how many people per year, on average, are killed worldwide by crocodiles? 500. Higher? 556. 556. Well, actually, the correct answer is 2,500 people per year are killed by crocodiles. So you can suddenly see the relevancy of this presentation. <laughs> if you pay close attention today, you may be able to save the life of yourself or someone you love. Lonely Planet put out a book called How to Be a World Explorer, which neatly summarizes crocodile wrestling into six simple steps, which are distract the croc, jump on its back, lift its hind legs, cover its eyes, close its mouth, and pull its head back. We'll go through those today. Step number one, distract the crocodile. This can be done by either A, having a friend run around in front of the crocodile, or B, removing a piece of clothing and throwing it over its eyes. It's important to remember that while removing your clothing may work to distract humans, it doesn't distract crocodiles on its own. So you have to make sure to throw it over the crocodile's eyes. Step number two is jump on the crocodile's back. When doing this, it's also important to remember to jump on its back and not in its mouth. <laughs> when you jump on its back, make sure that you throw your arms around its neck, push its head down, because once its head is on the ground, it's immobilized. Step number three is to take your hind legs, hook them under the crocodile's hind legs, and lift up. This prevents the crocodile from rolling over on top of you. Step number four is to blind the croc. One hand at a time, you put one hand over the crocodile's eyes and then the other hand over the crocodile's eyes. They have a reflex which makes their eyes go back into their head when you do this, and apparently it also sedates the crocodile. Step number five is again, one hand at a time, to, ho to hold the crocodile's mouth closed. Now, you may think that crocodiles have very strong jaws and so that would probably be difficult, but one, website called Softpedia talks about how though crocodiles have very strong jaws for chomping, their muscles for opening are very, very weak. 
And the last step is to pull back the head of the crocodile. Once the crocodile is in this position, it is entirely at your mercy, and at this point, you can have a friend to tape its mouth shut. If you don't have a friend around, hmm. <laughs> So again, the six steps for wrestling the crocodile are to distract the crocodile, to jump on its back, to lift its hind legs, to cover its eyes, to hold its mouth shut, and to pull its head back. And I'm telling you this today because you don't want to end up in this situation. What? Thank you.